and welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set, it's the Cincinnati Reds taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. John Shambi, Chris Singleton with you, and we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set, they've split the first two, and regardless of how important the series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So almost ready to get underway. Our starter in this one, Taiwan Walker. Yeah, very respectable numbers last year. Sub 350 ERA and you know, guys like that, you may think, well, they're elite pitchers that are pitching sub twos, they're dominating, but when you can have that kind of consistency, you know you have a chance to win the ball game every time he takes the mound. So, you know, good season last year, opportunity for him to go out there and repeat it this year, possibly even improve. But I tell you what, if this guy's pitching for me and I'm playing in the outfield, I'm loving every minute of it. First pitch, 105. The 1 0. Hit hard, that gets through. He was all second. over that one. Instead Not much to this one other than yeah. just a willingness to Same go the job. other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now it's Nick Senzel. First offering misses the mark. A little bit low. Singy Taiwan Walker originally drafted in the first round by the Mariners back in 2010 and a guy who's put together a very solid career. He was an all-star with the Mets in 2021. De La Cruz aboard here at first with nobody out. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, showed a lot of promise early on, but dealt with some injuries there and a lack of consistency. But over the last couple of seasons has really found it like the way that he commands that two seam fastball you don't see a whole lot of guys using that pitch as much as they used to but he's got a good thing working with it two and two and a weak ground ball to the left side oh, and foul ball and a pitch Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit for the Reds. Three for eight in the series coming in. That one's in there on one. Walker, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a splitter, a slider, a sinker, and he occasionally uses a curve. The pitch good speed on the base pass he handles the bat very well I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit the pitch there's a strike left center for a base hit lead runner touches second headed for third the throw in and the throws off line safe at third hitting is really easy for some guys one thing that i can see already his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time and guys like that they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane and even when you don't get it great it's still hit hard enough to dump something in like that in front of the center fielder. Joey Votto up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. Runners are at the corners. One away. This one trail. Right center field. That one heading for the fence. And gone! 
Joey Votto bops one out of here. His second of the year. It's 3-0. That was blasted. Absolutely. No doubt off the bat. Sometimes we say it's a sinker that didn't sink. Well, that was a splitter that just didn't split. Kind of like a BP fastball. And when you throw that pitch, don't expect to get it back. You're getting a new baseball from the umpire. Jake Fraley, the next to hit for the Reds. And that one wrapped foul. Singing some numbers fun with Taiwan Walker, originally drafted by the Mariners. His number was 44. That was his favorite number growing up. But he got traded Ball to the Diamondbacks. That was Paul Goldschmidt's number. Switched to 99 when he moved to Toronto. Hunjin Ryu at 99. So he went double zero. Eventually landed with the Mets. But Mr. Met wears double zero. So he went back to 99. Next pitch has popped up. And there's two down. Here's David Bell's lineup for the Cincinnati Reds. Jonathan India at the plate. Two for seven in the series so far. The Reds certainly hit on their first round pick in 2018 when they took Jonathan India, the former Florida Gator. He turned into the National League Rookie of the Year in 2021. Just an incredible season with the Cincinnati Reds that year. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. I'll tell you. Man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure. Home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Will Myers now. That's First pitch, and he just misses. One, no and there's the strike. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. It's now 3-0. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. I tell you what, I think we all just jumped across that line. Oh, honey, I'll bring you with me if I know you. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. And today's starting pitcher, Luke Weaver. What's the scouting report on him? A very forgettable start his last time out. Was only able to work a couple of innings. We're looking for him to put it all together today. Command, tempo, and just really a confident presence out there on the mound. Bottom of the first. And now for the what Phillies, Trey Turner. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. And a bunt towards third. Bear hands it. Tough play. On the money. Nice play. And time now for the Phillies lineup. It includes a guy with a big season last year, JT Real Muto. Well, he had a huge season offensively last year and truly earned that Silver Slugger Award in the National League. He's one of the best in his position, and he showed it from the offensive side. So you turn the page of this season. Man, he wants to continue that and get off to a great start this season. Alec yeah. Bohm batting with one down, takes a strike. And the righty deals. 
And a good eye there. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris. And it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit, you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup. And I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Out to short. De La Cruz gloves it. Low throw, and he can't take it out. One gone runner at first. Stepping in the long ball threat, Brandon Jordan. Maybe expecting a punt here. Third baseman playing in on the edge of the grass. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Boom. Over at first with one away. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. The other way. That's a base hit. The throw into second just got him on that one. Wow, this is one of those plays that happens sometimes, but it never really should. It seems like he just got a bad read on the ball, and the good throw from the outfield was perfect to get the out. And at first, here's Bryce Harper. Enters this one with four extra base hits already in the series. Weaver checks over to first, and he's back. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Steer makes the catch, and that'll do it. So no runs on no hits, one error, and a runner left. We move on to inning number two here in Philadelphia. It's the Reds three, and the Phillies nothing. Second inning set to go, and ready to hit now for Cincinnati, T.J. Friedel. And here it comes. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. And now it's even up. James Kingsley working the plate. Kingsley's pretty well respected around the league. Yeah, when you talk to players, I think consistently he is one of the guys you hear compliments about. Players appreciate the job he does back there. Yeah, that's kind of all you can ask for, really, just a fair chance to go out and have success. Here's a one-two. Good eye right there. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see these guys a lot. Yeah, Boog, these guys are all out there trying to do their best and perform at a high level. So when you respect that, I think over time, you can develop a relationship with some of these guys. In the air, left field, down the line. Schwarber settles under it and makes the catch. And there's one down. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. The pitch. And another ball. There's a strike. Two balls, one strike. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss <laughs> as he was out front that time. In the air, left field. Schwarber in pursuit. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. 
just pulled oh, off of it a little bit right there. That the front shot. shoulder coming open Ellie. instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. De La Cruz stands in now and watches strike one. Next offering upstairs. That one missing inside. And he deals. On the ground, right side. Takes it himself. Out. Third out, and that ends the frame. Offense held a check there. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Reds three, and the Phillies nothing. Bottom of the second. Kyle here Schwarber comes up to Philly. hit here. No left fielder. Now, remember, Kyle, Kyle Schwarber grew up in Ohio, and so he got a chance to watch a lot of really good Cincinnati Reds teams. His favorite players growing up were Barry Larkin and Ken Griffey Jr. The pitch. That's in there. That's strike one. A 3-0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ball game. Left-hand batter waits. Oh. And there's a ball. The 1-1. One, 2-1. One. One. That's down and in. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. And there's ball That's four. Ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't Billy. offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over first. JT Real Muto steps in. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. In there, and it's 0-1. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. The next offering misses, and it's a ball to strike. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it surprised a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Schwarber gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Ground ball could be two. India. Awesome play there. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Hitless in the series so far. He's 0 for 7. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. Going one. Going one. One out and a runner at second. And there's a foul ball. Next pitch off the play. One and two to count. And the one two misses to even the count. That one ripped. 
Senzel reaching back towards the wall on the warning track and hauls it in. Tags up from second and he'll head to third. Was able to move the runner up to third on that deep fly to center, but I think this point he wants to get him over and get him in. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Two for eight in the series so far. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Hoskins pushes it foul. Two outs with a runner at third. Ball Next one. pitch misses, and that's ball one. And he takes a strike. So now one and two to Reese. Squibbed out in front of the play. Roll over to Votto. And that is that. One left for Philadelphia. They trail in this one, 3 nothing. All set for the start of the inning. In now for the Reds, Nick Senzel. Nick Senzel. Walker back to work. It's been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. And that one is lifted in the air. And there's one away. Now batting, the catcher, Tyler. Next for Stevenson. Cincinnati, Tyler Stevenson. Singled and scored his first time. First offering misses badly for ball one. And that's down and away. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. Next pitch is popped up. Hoskins moves under it. Snags it for the second out. Now batting the first baseman, Joey. And yeah, the batter now is Joey Votto. He's already homered in this one. Votto, a former Gold Glove winner, batting in the cleanup spot. And he was a second round pick back in 2002. In there for strike one. And a foul ball. Left-hand hitter waits. That's a laser base hit. And it bangs up against the wall. Relay throw to second. In there safely. Nice double right there. Yeah. Loud contact Left coming hand. off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. Second here with two away. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Jake Fraley. Yeah. And that's in there for strike one. Fraley measures six feet even. 195 pounds. And they went out and made a trade for him last season. The one. And that's in for a strike. 
perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Right-hander kicks deals. One ball, ball one there. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. The one-two. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Righty delivers. Three, two. Swing and a miss struck him out. Reds leave one, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Josh Harrison. The pitch. In the air, center field. Senzel makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Batter number seven. Shortstop. So the batting order turns over. Trey Turner at the plate. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Turner had a really good college career at NC State. He went to the 2013 College World Series and led all of college baseball with 55 stolen bases that season. Pretty incredible. Takes it in for the out. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Alec Bohm. First pitch, well, not close. Well, and that's downstairs and outside. Next pitch misses inside. Three balls, no strikes. Two outs. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Jordan nope. at the plate and takes high there. Next pitch misses outside, and it's 2-0. and oh. In there at the knees. Two balls, one strike. The 2-1. That, that one ball. missed. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Righty to the plate. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. First and second, two down. Here's Harper now. He's over one. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. Chris, you think about memorable performances in the home run derby. Well, the Nationals had the All-Star game in 2018, and Bryce Harper, with his dad throwing to him, put on quite a performance and won the home run derby. 
now one and one. Yeah, probably the biggest moment in Nationals Park for Harper, and he would have loved that to have been a World Series appearance, but it was an all-star game and a home run derby where he just took the crowd by storm. Next offering is fouled back. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Fights it off, you'll see another. At the belt and fires. Way inside, gets out of the way. Left field, way back there. That's back. That one is gone. Bryce Harper blasts one out the opposite way. His fourth home run of the season. And we're level. It's 3-3. Hits against a strong and firm front side. And that's uh, knocking a cheesesteak out of somebody's lap. <laughs> I would be upset if somebody knocked a cheesesteak out of my lap, I'll tell you that. I don't think that's possible. You're too quick. Two down, nobody on. Two balls and a strike. Tied up here in the early going. Foul ball there. Next offering way off the plate. Foul ball, he stays alive. Here comes a 3 2. And he walked it. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with yeah. control. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. Rounded out his first time up. Real Muto will handle the catching duties in this one. 32 years old, and he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. First oh, yeah. offering, and it just misses. Counts one and oh. Good eye right there. And there's the strike. Two balls, one strike. Schwarber off of first with two away. Bouncer to second. India picks it up, tosses to first, and Rio Muto is out. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Just one hit in the inning, but it was a big one right here as it ties the ball game. We're tied now with three apiece. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Citizens Bank Park, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Jonathan India.
the wind of the pitch. Looked like it was a little bit up. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Here's a 1-1. And that one fouled off. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. The wide to kick the pitch. Got him. Down on strikes. And he knew it. No messing around with the pitch calling in that sequence right there. Four pitches, all fastballs. Yeah, and that makes me think that was the plan before the at-bat even started. If you think you can simply just beat a guy with only your fastball, why throw him anything else until he shows you he can handle it? Will Myers will hit next. Struck out swinging his first time. In there in its own one. The wind of the pitch. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The 0-2. On the ground to short. Whips it to first. Yeah. Two up, two down. Now batting the designated hitter, TJ Friedel. And now the designated hitter for the Reds, TJ Friedel. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. And the first what offering is not close. That's oh, outside. That's On the ground to third. Gathers and throws to first. And that will end the inning. Reds go down quietly. Score remains tied at three. Ready to go, bottom four. Go. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. The designated hitter, Nick Castellanos. Yeah, the right hitter back to work. Pitch misses, and yeah, that's ball one. There's a strike. Well, we call that key holy. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. comes a pitch and now two and two wow that's a tough pitch to lay off two two down keeps the at bat going with a foul ball In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Senzel under it, hauls it in, and there's one away. The first baseman, number 17, three. And it's Reese Hoskins oh, up to yeah. the dish. Grounded out his first time. Hey. That 
one's in there, 0 and 1. Swing and a miss. Next pitch way upstairs. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Next pitch misses way outside. On the ground to the left. Over to first. Already two gone here in the home yeah. fourth. Fastball flip right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. And the batter now, Josh Harrison. Fly out to center in his first at bat. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Well, he threw that fastball right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for later in this at-bat? Next offering is in for a strike. Looking for the K. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. Still tied, three and three. <laughs> Welcome back. New inning getting started. Down the third base of it. Spencer Steer. Spencer Steer. And a pitch. There's a strike of the knees. And that's strike one. There's a strike. Going oh, two now. The punch out there, and a quick out number one. Well, he just went right after him there. No messing around with the off-speed stuff. Here's my fastball. If you can hit it, go for it. Three fastballs. See you later. Definitely builds your confidence out on the mound. De La Cruz in the box now. No oh, balls in a strike. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand. Looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. Ground ball right side. Tosses to the oh. pitcher covering the bag. And a couple of quick outs. Now batter, the center fielder, Nick Senzel. And now, Nick Senzel. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. Hey. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. That clips the corner. The next pitch misses, and a count one and two. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. One, two now. Started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and he held back, according to Larry Bullard. That one the other way. He handles it himself. And that is the third out of the inning. Nobody left for Cincinnati, so no change in the score. It's 3 3. Back here in Philadelphia, here's Turner now. Singy, how about this? From 2019 through 2022. 
Trey Turner had a higher slugging percentage than Carlos Correa, Corey Seager, one, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., and Ronald Acuna. Movement in the bullpen. Tony Santion loosening up for manager David Bell. Next one misses. Now 2-0. 2-0. And a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds. They're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Kicks and fires. That's out to center field. Senzel under it. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Up next for Philadelphia, the third baseman. And digging in for Philadelphia, Alec Ball. So with the purpose, there is a reason. And then if I retreat, then I'm worth pulling the trees. And man, I want to be blameless. Strange and unashamed by this team as a flameless. Line the other way. That's a fair ball and down the right field line and towards that corner. He's in at second with a one-out double. So oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump off. The manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. And now for the Phillies, Brandon Jordan. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. Up the middle, dives, and he can't hang on. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. Runners at the corners here. One away. Bryce Harper to the plate. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against it. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. First pitch, and he just misses. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And that one almost got him. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. You leave something out over the plate. It's going to bring in some runs. Weaver over to first, and he's back in easily. Two up. And a big swing and a miss. First and third, one down. And that one pulled foul. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. And the right hander deals. And now it's filled up. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. You want to try to tie him off. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, he's been in a very giving mood today. Here comes a skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. Luke Weaver is done, and the line not closed on him yet as he's responsible for the runners on base. Back with a new pitcher after this. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Tony Santion. Well, no margin for error in terms of throwing strikes with the bases loaded. Just has to execute one pitch at a time to try to get out of this. Digging in, Kyle Schwarber. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. A 
On the ground, a second might be two. Can't glove it cleanly, but plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. And now it is JT Real Muto. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. In there for strike one. Now the 01. And a foul ball. Pitch misses there, and it's one and two. O2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Jordan at third. Harper at second with two gone. That's hard hit on the line. Fraley makes the catch, and that is that. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Five innings complete. It's the Phillies four and the Reds three. We ain't talking money. We ain't talking. It's the game. Back here in Philadelphia, and here's the catcher, Tyler Stevenson. Tyler The line and the pitch. And the slider catches the zone. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball. And a pitch. On a line. That's a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff down. I'd say a mistake pitch okay. in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. <laughs> no outs. Runner at first. Now, Joey Votto. Line drive. That's a base hit. No waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Manager out of the dugout now. And it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Taiwan Walker departs and he leaves in a one-run game. New pitcher coming up. We'll be back in a minute. Gregory Soto into the game. Well, he hasn't pitched in a while. Coming on here after five days rest, so he should be rested. But we'll see if he has any rust to shake off. First and second, no outs. In now for the Reds, Jake Fraley. Corner infielders up on the grass expecting a bunt. And he lays one down the left side. Slings it across, and that's an out on the sacrifice. Now that the second baseman, Jonathan. Here's the second baseman, India. Jonathan India. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but I'm not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. They say it went. Oh, and one. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Connor Brogdon getting ready to go. Strom, the lefty, warming up as well. A swing and a miss as he chases way out of the zone.
Next pitch is outside. Two balls, two strikes. Two on, one out. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Makes the catch. Runner tags for third. Relay throw. Slide save. Tie ball game. 4-4. Four, four. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. And now the right fielder, Will Myers. And that's in there for strike one. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Clearly all in on the fastball right there, but it was a changeup. Bottom just fell out of it. He's going to have to make an adjustment. Two outs and one in scoring position. And the next pitch is way outside. And another ball. That's a really good take. That one ran inside, almost got him. Straightened him up a little bit. And a pitch. Fall off foul. Meyer stays alive. Three, two on the way. And ball four to a board. First and second, two outs. TJ Friedel digs in now. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. In there, and it's 0-1. There was a high-velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Tied at four. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. It's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball. But with high velocities these days, that speed differential is right where it needs to be. Two on, two outs. And downstairs. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. Base hit center field. Coming home. Jordan fires it to the plate. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Bang, bang, play at the plate right there. Outfielder needed no help. An absolutely perfect throw to get him right on the money. Excellent tag by the catcher, and the inning ends on an awesome play. Well, we go bottom six. Here's the Phillies DH, Nick Castellanos. Santiago back to work. Oh, that one drifts guy. inside. Castellanos in his 10th season, a member of the 1,000 hit club. He's usually in right field, but today he's getting the DH treatment. And the righty deals. That's the ball. Two balls, no strikes. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. And the pitch. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Nick Castellanos goes deep. His first homer of the year, and they slide in front in the sixth. It's 
there was clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Uh, would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Reese Hoskins now at the plate. That one's in there, 0 and 1. But we just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Right handed reliever. That one fouled off. And he deals. Nope. And one and two. It's a good take. That's the next offering two. misses. Yeah, that's ball two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Comes a 2-2. Gets a piece and stays alive. Next offering is foul back. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, that's outside. Two. Got him looking. Now one away. Really good battle right there. And that final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Now, now, Instead, the umpire base. rings him up for the backwards K. Now it's the second baseman, Josh Harrison. First offering misses the mark. Santion in his second season. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. And a 1-0. Slice down the right side. The pitch. Hit weakly on the ground. In plenty of time to first, two out. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. Trey Turner now. Saying he's not just one of the fastest guys in the game, but also Trey Turner. How about those slides? Pretty cool looking. Yeah, a natural slip and slide out there on the field. And one thing that speaks to me is that he doesn't decelerate a whole lot when he's in top speed going into that slide because... He goes through the bag and can end up on his feet all in one motion. The pitch. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. And here it comes. That misses, and it's two and two. Next offering is outside. The pitch. 
Bosch. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. The Phillies get one by way of the long ball. It's down to one at 5-4. You're dialed into the show. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Connor Brogdon. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late now, and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Here's the third baseman, Spencer Steer. And things could change quickly here with one swing. Here comes a pitch. Right through there for a strike. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. And the tying run is on with a leadoff single. Well, that was an important at bat in this game. So a great job the there, stepping up to the challenge. Ellie. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Back to the top of the lineup, Ellie De La Cruz. The next to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. The 1-0. -oh. Hey. And that's through there for a strike. Nobody out. Runner at first. They say you win. One ball, two strikes. pitch and a ball evens the count with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of a double play here two two down way inside gets out of the way this is a really good feeling for a hitter at this point in the ball game you know that they don't want to walk you so you're going to get a pitch to hit you just better not miss it Got him looking. One out. Now the number two hitter, Nick Senzel. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. In there for strike one. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. Next offering misses, and now it's even one and one. Brogdon picks the first. Steer back in on a dive. Runner on the goal. That's it for a strike. Throw. Tag. Ow. A bullet from JT Real Muto. Well, that's just a good baseball play right there. I mean, pretty good jump off the pitcher, I'd say, and good catch and throw by the catcher. And I think if you did that ten times, half the time the guy might be safe. The other half, probably out. Pitch. Ball. And there's a ball. Two, two, the count. Good eye right two, two. there. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Got him swinging.
So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Reds, Joel Cunell. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Well, one run game, and now Alec Bohm. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. The wind and the pitch. Bounce to the left side. Throw to first is in time. And the leadoff hitter set the down to open the seventh. 25, Brandon Jordan. Now it's the power speed combo. Brandon Jordan. And that one got him on the elbow. You know, Boog, you always say how important it is to have a good feel for the game. I, I say after the game, you step into the box, I'll throw some fastballs at you. No, actually, I think we're good, Chris. But now, here is Harper looking to do more of what he did back in the third. No doubt, that three-run homer is a huge reason why they're in a good spot right now in this ball game. An important swing of the bat. Back over to first, and he's back again. Hey. And that's in there for strike one. Hey. And he pumps it a strike. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. Righty to the play. Ball That's one. down and in. Left-hand batter no, no. waits. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Well, you can't fault the defense for not paying enough attention. They threw over a few times, but he just waited it out, kept his timing. He was able to swipe the bag. Nice job of base running right there. Runner at second here, one gone. And he hits a ground ball right side. The throw to first. Harper retired. Now batting left fielder Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Fouled off. He was late. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Jordan on third with two out. That misses. A ball, one a ball won't strike. That one missing oh, inside. Place. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. And now the count filled up three and two. And a payoff pitch, and that's ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Now batting, catcher, JT. JT Real Muto stands in for the Phillies. Looking for some insurance, or as our friends down in the South would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. 
A little slider action. Right-hander kicks deals. That's Just ball. missed. Two balls, no break. Two zero. There's a strike. Well, he went inside a couple of times, and now outside. Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. To the left side, but it is well foul. Got him! Huge strike out there. Two left on. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Phillies five and the Reds four. Softly, cause you're like the gas tank of a Mr. Softies in the wind that ain't feeling you. See, every time you see me, I got something new. The new pitcher in the game, Jose Alvarado. And he comes on here for the first time this season, and I'm sure there's some nerves involved in that, so we'll see how he settles in. Tyler Stevenson getting ready to hit. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. And a pitch. Bounce to the right side. He steps on the bag, first out in the top of the eighth. But that's why you hug the lines on the corners late in the ball game like this. Positioned perfectly. And here's the first baseman, Joey Votto. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. At the belt and fires. Swinging a foul straight back. Swinging. Gassed it right by him. Well, you got to be pretty quick with the bat speed these days. So many guys throwing in the upper 90s, and you see the velocity on that one just tough to catch up to. I mean, guys are coming in, and they're going max effort. They're not looking to go a long distance. They want to get as many strikeouts as they possibly can. Jake Fraley will hit next. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. First pitch, just misses. Looking to get the tying run on base. Yeah, there's the strike. It's a strikeout. And one, two, three, go the Reds. Still down a run. It's five to four. Lucas Sims gets handed the rock out of the pen. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. Number 39, Lucas Sims. Well, one run game, and now the DH, Nick Castellanos. And he deals. Now a high fly ball out to left center. 
in one hops off the wall should be extra bases safely into second he's got a double waste no time there got a good pitch to drive stayed short with his back half to the ball and caught it out front and he stayed long in his follow through that's how you split the gap and that's pretty much a double every time So digging in now for Philadelphia, Reese Hoskins. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Fouled off left side. Next offering is fouled back. Castellanos leads off second with nobody out. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Kicks and fires. And one ball, ball one. Two strikes. That one drilled left field. That's back there. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. Runner tags it second, and he makes it up to third with one away. Second baseman. And now here is Josh Harrison. So the bottom of the order here, Boogie, got to go right after this guy. As they look to pick up an add-on run as the number nine guy at the plate. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners that they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right, and that will get out of play. One away with a runner at third. Strike two. In the air, right field. Squeezes it. Runner tagging from third. The throw is on and he's in to score. And they take a two-run lead. They had a chance to add to their lead right there, and they did with the sack fly. Nice job of getting it done. Really good execution with that at bat. So the Philly batting order turns over. Trey Turner stands in for the Phillies. There's a strike. All ones with him. Two down, nobody on. He swings and fouls one off. The 0-2. Battling here as he fouls it away. And he'll two. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Righty delivers. This one popped up. Votto makes the catch and that'll do it. One run, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Philly six and the Reds four. Out of the bullpen for the Phillies, Sir Anthony Dominguez. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Jonathan India. 
Dominguez, 28 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Strike one. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Vladi, Big Poppy, Pedro, the list goes on and on. Check swing, tried to hold up, now an appeal to first. Yes, he did, that's a swing. Phillies fans want a strikeout. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit-by-pitch to lead off the inning. Now that can happen when you're the white trying to dive out over the plate so you can control the outer half. Very difficult to get out of the way of good velocity in. Foul ball. Two as he waves at that one. Rudder at first with no outs here. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, that pitch wasn't even close to being a strike. And that just goes to show you how defensive hitters can be calm when they're up against an 0-2 count. You're just hoping for a mistake somewhere near the zone that you can get the bat to. But right there, he was clearly anxious. He was swinging when the ball left the hand. T.J. Friedel digs in now. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. First oh, offering wow. misses the mark. And a good eye there. Swing and a miss. Now two balls and a strike. Offering his foul back. The two two got him swinging for the strikeout. Ugly hack of the off-speed pitch in the dirt. We got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough and played right into the hands of the pitcher. Now the third baseman, Spencer Steer. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. And the first pitch misses for ball one. India, the runner at first with two gone. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. The tying run at the plate. And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. Steer checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. Did not go. Here's a 2 2. This to center field. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Phillies win the rubber match of this three game series. I'd say these guys really needed to win this game today. It pushed them over the top to win the series, which is great. But when you go on the road, Going into some hostile territory, you want to have a lot of confidence and you want to be feeling really good about how you're playing as well as to your left and your right, your teammates, that they're on track as well. And this one ends with a final score of 6-4. to four. The Phillies hang on to win it. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.